Hey guys, today I'm going to show you all the hard mods that I've done to my new 3DS XL. This is um, kind of to show what the 3DS can do with mods and maybe inspire some of you to get mods and just a general overview of everything that can be done. So, uh, first thing you're going to notice is the Majora's Mask 3D, uh, Majora's Mask Edition. Um, this is actually shell swap, so it, it didn't used to be like this. It used to be a black one, and I had a decal on it, a Rayquaza decal, like this. But I got kind of bored of it now after a year, and I got this really cheap for like $12, and it's really high quality. So I really like this. And now I have this one. So that's first. The second thing, I have a Majora's Mask analog stick. This is 3D printed. And it's more of a tactile, it's not tactile, it's um, like, it, it feels like rock and it's really grippy, so that's pretty cool. I have also the PSP 1000 C-Stick. This is our original one taken from a PSP, not a clone. I also built into my ex-girlfriend's 3DS, I built um, another one, which was actually from eBay and they are not the same. That one was much higher by hovering and this one is more in there so it really feels really good so you can really i will show that in a second it, you just have to lean to some place and it will work and the color scheme is also great now because everything is kind of dark i gotta refocus hang on so everything is kind of dark instead of that gray stuff you have normally so that's that um i also changed the leds all right, we have some focus issue here. Wow. So I have a white power LED. That really looks dope. A green Wi-Fi LED. And I have an orange uh, charging, but I changed it. It's a lighter orange. It's more like fire than the darker orange that they had. And as you can see, the white one dims in and out. That's really dope. And I'll show the charging one in a second. Hang on. So that's the charging orange. So that's that and um, how I've done that is by actually soldering other SMD LEDs in there like this as you can see on the power board there are four LEDs and the one is red for battery empty and then there's the normal blue and then two types of orange and I really hated that so I made the charging a better orange but I had to get a 2 volt because the 3 volts didn't work because it's a low power. The Wi-Fi LED I made green and white for the power and I also have a power board here so as you can see if I compare it to a 3DS and you can see the picture looks, looks huge but it's actually minuscule. This is really terrible to solder. This is probably the hardest thing I've done to my 3DS and it's just to change some lights. but. It still looks dope, but it could have killed. There's like this problem, like you can see that metal under there. You're not allowed to solder them together because that was short circuit. So this needs to stay disconnected from the LED. So it's really hard to solder. And I'm not kidding, this is really hard to solder. <clears throat> the next thing I've done is, as you can see, there's some rubber here. And this is actually not a button, but a cover and underneath is a micro USB B port and what that does it connects straight to my NAND so I can read out my NAND and flash it and I'll show how that looks so I have my European motherboard here which used to be in a 3DS but I sh swapped it to an American one and as you can see I also still have the wires connected so this is negative this is I think CLK but I'm not sure that goes here and on the other side where the NAND chip is here you have the data, which is the yellow one, I think. No, no, it's not. That's that's CMD, and the green one is data. And this four are also CLK, but they're so small and tiny. I rather take this one, which is much better to solder. And then I solder that to a USB port here. This you have to cut this off, and then put it like something like this. But this won't fit since I didn't cut it, so as you can see, it should be like this. And as you can see, this is much bigger, that's why I shell swapped it, because 
I didn't always have a USB port there, so that's the USB port. And you notice also there's this. This is a button. And what that does, if I press the button, I can enable and disable the Bluetooth uh, transmitter that is inside my 3DS. And as you can see, it's um, there's also a hole here with an LED. That's the indicator light for the Bluetooth. And as you can see, it's enabled and connected. And it's actually connected to that Bluetooth receiver over there, which is charging. And what that does is it will send the audio from my 3DS wireless to that Bluetooth device. So if I plug something in the audio jack like this, it will send the sound. So this is really located here. And that's why you can see the indicator light. I think I have a picture of that too. If you give me a second. So this is how my 3DS looks on the internal. And there is the Bluetooth tra receiver. And these two wires that are loose is actually for the switch and I didn't have it in that when I took the picture. But And this is the Bluetooth transmitter that I used. It's a GET something. I don't know. It was from Amazon but it works. It's really cool. So I'm gonna preview that really quick. So let me plug this inside. and enable listening on my computer and as you can hear so that will stream my audio from my 3DS to my laptop and what I can do with that is use like NTR to stream my screen and meanwhile also have it stream my uh, my audio at the same time so if I throw on NTR, so as you can see my 3DS screen is now on here and I can put this on another display, hang on. I can even go completely nuts and do this. So now my 3DS is on my laptop, on my television, and on my iPad, and on my 3DS. And I can control it from my... Oh, wait, hang on. I didn't set that up, but it doesn't matter. I can also use like a PlayStation controller or something to control it using input redirection. But now you can see I have a quad 3DS set up. <laughs> But um, also now, since, as you can see, the audio will come from my television. And that's because of the Bluetooth mod. So that's the Bluetooth mod. Uh, I think the next thing I can preview real quick. So if, let me disconnect this. And uh, as you can, as you saw, I had like everything on, and if I press a button, everything will close. This is because of um, a batch that I made for NTR, and I have a full video on that as well. But now I'll quickly show what this is for, because the USB port alone will not suffice. If you put the USB cable in the back in that USB port, you will kill your 3DS. So you need a Franken SD. And that's the this. It's basically like an SD soldered to a USB cable to an SD reader. So if I turn off my 3DS. And open up the USB port. Plug this inside. And turn then on my 3DS when it's turning off. Hang on. So now if I turn it on, you'll see a blue screen. And this means it's ready to be read out. So if I plug it into my computer right now. You will get a format message. 
and you always want to press cancel, never format. So press cancel and use Win32 disk image. As you can see, it's already detected. So this is my the my uh, 3ds. So what you have to do is open this and pick a location like a desktop and just create a file. So I call this test. And then you have two options. You can use, like if you already have a test file, you can like write and it will write now to my 3ds, which I better do not because it will kill it or read. And that will read your NAND to that file. So you'll make a backup. So if I read now, you see, I'm reading from my NAND with 5.5 MB a second. That's normal if you use one data port and it will create a backup right there from my NAND, from my 3DS. And I can also write to it, like I have a bunch load of backups and I also have some for my 2DS, one for my European motherboard and one for my ex-girlfriend and which I probably never use again, but I still keep them because I have space enough, but these are mine. So you can use that and that's what the USB port is for. So let me quickly cancel this. I won't need that. I think my battery just popped out. Yeah. So now if I plug this back in, right way of course, and as you can see I don't use screws on my 3DS. I don't know why, I, I see it often, people ask how to do this, I don't know why. You can just completely take them out and my 3DS still is completely secure. You can also put a small amount of double sided tape here and replace it once in a while, so like every month or two, and it would perfectly fine and never go open. I don't have screws on it and I never notice it, so I'm not sure what's the problem with that. So. The next mod I have is I have a wireless charger inside my 3DS and most of you probably will know about that. So you get like a wireless charger, as you can see, and a transmitter as well like this. This is just something I have. Disassemble it all and build it inside your 3DS. So this is what it looks on the inside of mine. Like this is the Bluetooth mod and here I have the wireless charger and I put some uh, reflective tape on there which comes with the wireless charge and stuff hooked it up to the charger and inside my box I build a transmitter alongside a charger which will charge the battery so I can use it with the batteries or from a USB cable the USB cable is better of course but I have 8000 milliamps but you should notice because I have to a complete video about that so I'll just quickly demonstrate that as well just for the sake of it but there's my 3ds wireless charging from this box without any power i can also use power from here and it's actually full so it should turn off like soon but as you can see it detects the 3ds and enables the light when it finds it so that's that now it won't charge because the battery is full anyway so but i think that's all the hard mods I've done. I've also replaced the motherboard to uh, American instead of a European, which what I already told that. So I have a US motherboard instead of a European in here. As you can see, I'm on 11.3 EU instead of E. So that's my hard mods on my 3DS. I hope you enjoyed the videos and for most of the hard mods I have tutorials on my channel so if you want to do them yourself you just have to look through my channel most of them are there so thanks for watching bye